Ah, we've arrived at this primal world. The humans seem to worship this deceased worm beast, but also use its body for resources. From our data, it seems that the beast died in an event the humans called the War of the Hammers, with the help of small green humanoids. Seems like they've desecrated it to me. Let's show them a real war. A bam, and welcome to Creep World 4, everybody. Uh, right, so we've got a giant worm to attack. Uh, there's a whole load of islands, which all look very pretty, very nice. Any sneaky assassinations? Wow, Dark Tower. Always love a Dark Tower. Uh, well, we're at the butt of the worm, uh, which is totally fine. Let's just buff this guy straight away. Right, I'd like to get into there before they M rift. Actually, do I want spore launchers? I'm worried that they will trigger anti creep. Uh, there's these little dotted anti creep islands up there. Okay, no one looks too bad for it at the moment. God, I hate, I hate these uh, little sprayers on the uh, the yellow yellow floor. They are not my friend. Right, do we just want to come down here? Bobble legs. Right, just connecto that uh, that sprayer. Oh god, if that thing if that thing goes off, we're gonna have to attack immediately. Okay, right. Actually, the mortars are kind of keeping it at bay. Oh nuts! We've already done it. How did that happen so quickly? Just pop those. Damn those sprayers camping. Okay, they're cut off. That is all good. And they're making anti creep. Nuts. Okay, well, that's just going to make that assault a whole lot harder. And that MRF is under a shield. Balls. Because these guys. Oh man, it doesn't make it that much tougher. It just makes it slower. Is my main complaint. What else is being taken control of? A Ford emitter? Actually pretty good. And do we have skimmers? Probably. But old Blindo is not seeing them. There's blobs? Air sacs? Okay, well, just not worry about those for the time being. Okay, I need to bust in here. If I can take a bit of this. Just to kind of slow all of this down. Alright, try and get mesh in front of it. Okay, right. We got some creep production out of it, which is very good. That is going to help nicely. Alright, do we just want to boost this? I'm going to say yes. Normally I just kind of sit on my, my boost for a long time, but I think that will just help them rampage forwards. They are building more shields. Oh! Oh, I, wow, I thought they put a shield on a platform, which I don't think I've ever seen happen before. And I guess we still haven't. Okay, shields down. All right, move on up. Slow and steady wins the race. Uh, right. We could just give them eggs. As a little distracto. Just to get past like one little wave of guns. Is that working? Yeah, it's working. Of course it's working. We're a group of world veteran at this stage. Okay, the main front line is sort of stalling out a little bit. I kind of just want to get more of a foothold over here before kind of really pressing another direction. Oh, it's always good to snipe a runway. Uh, got it? We got it. Okay, that nerd at the back needs to pay. No ticket. There we go. Okay, great. Because actually, if I can cut along this coast, it'll be easier to actually sever these guys' connection. Distraction eggs. Uh, because that could maybe get cut off. Okay. Cut off a bit. That should just help to stop having so much of my creep getting thinned out by just this little outpost along the way. 
Okay, we've taken this part of the island, but whether or not we can even hold that. So they have a lot of guns. Uh, the shield's down. Which is great. Oh, hello. Okay, if we can punch in there. Gotta take the mountain, though. Okay, I just wanna try and move around the, the side. And... So I think if I can get the blobs online, that will really help to take this island. Because also the blobs are so close just to be able to snipe that emerift. Oh, look at it kind of slowly move in. Just keep tightening the circle. We have them fully surrounded. <gasps> it's going down. The moment it goes down, we're just going to get all the blobs. There we go. Three. Twenty-five, I think you mean. Uh, none of them went for this little outcrop. Not super useful. Okay, sniping that shield, actually great. Great for me. Uh, right, let's put an egg there just to stop that kind of becoming a thing again. Okay. Right, everyone was distracted. The blobs came out, actually did some work. Well, a lot of eggs. Just pop all the eggs. Okay, another island has fallen. Ooh, they have taken a bit of the wall. Wow, just raw attrition. Okay, well, surround that. Please don't activate this. Please don't do that. It'll just slow me down. Okay, wow, we've like just punched through the front of the wall. Do they have an M-Rift in there? Well, they do. But it is very close to the edge, so I mean, shut that down, and then maybe just try and cut them off. And then we're into a much softer underbelly. Nice, they cut off. Excellent. And then the blobs came in. They caused a bit of bit of havoc as well. Beautiful. They've got ah, look at this sneaky little henge. Uh, yeah, a uh, M rift with very, very good blob protection. Dirty. Okay, it might be time to begin the the siege. So it begins. Okay, this is our landing pad. Okay, fairly solid foothold up here. Uh, soon we will have all the air sacs in the world who will undoubtedly just trade <laughs> anti-creep on the map, but they're my sweet, my sweet boys. And you know, you you have to you have to raise them up because they they need a little bit of help. Okay, there was AC production on you. It's not the most, but I still don't need it in my life. Let's just give them. Let's just give them all the eggs. Not actually really doing that much, but some of their guns are dead. Bam. Don't you be trying to make anti-creep, sir. Not on my watch. Okay, air sac island almost ready. The m is pretty deep inside the shield, so that's going to take a, a long time to kind of grind out. But if we can just take the rest of the, the rest of the island, are we ever going to bust in there? God, it's going to take such a long time. Wait, do we actually have air sacs coming? Oh, we do, but they are building a nullifier again. Can we brute force this? Just put all of the eggs down. Because sometimes that will push through a shield. Oh god, they've got a super mortar. How did I not even notice that this whole time? Okay, next rock. Can I get that mortar? There's got to be a spot I can sit. I might need two, because I have to take out a cannon as well. Uh, air sac cauldrons. Yes. Is what I say to air sac cauldrons. Yes. Okay, we've got a second rock. Uh, is that... There we go. Super Mortar is down. Right, that should really hasten the pacing over here. As it was slowing us massively. Could maybe brute force it with eggs, but it looks like shields are about to pop. Uh, we've got a lot of air sacs moving around. Don't know how much work they're gonna be doing just yet, but... 
go for it. One well, emeralds down. Okay, great. This this island's basically ours. Right, I'm just extending my mesh bridge because I think we're probably going to be attacking in, but I kind of want to try and sneak along the side. I mean, maybe we've got a few more eggs. If I can just make a whole bridge just on the right edge of the map, might be able to bust in there. Got maybe a little bold. Okay, that middle island looks really tough to take. That may as well just be a blob of land in the middle, because you have to cut off all around it. Which doesn't seem possible at the moment. Or maybe you just need to move up the worm a little bit. We are kind of being attacked from all sides. Uh, can I just snipe you? Oh, no. No. Uh, no. We shot other stuff. Did they actually... No, it did kill the, uh, the shield. Okay, that that's like a me-building level of emrifts. When you're like, ah, I can't be bothered to place pylons anymore. I'm just going to put down 50 emrifts. Uh, <laughs> that's a wacky little defensive formation. Don't know if that's the best, <laughs> the best play, but... You know, uh, AI definitely smarter than I am. When the machine uprising comes, hopefully they remember remember that I said that, and I'll be kept as like a fun curios in some weird human zoo rather than just and I turned into mulch. Okay, they're out of guns, so we are making it through pretty good. Just keep coming along, I guess. Just take this whole coastline. Oh, the Essex landed a thing in here and they've triggered anti creep, which is just perfect. Just absolutely perfect. Thank you, Essex. I know you're doing your best, but <laughs> I love you. Just sort of for like speed's sake, God, do we just boost at the back or do we boost this guy? I tend not to like to boost the the blobs too much because when you do that. Like, it's a stalemate for a long time, and then the blobs win. And I feel like it gets a bit anticlimactic with blobs. At least with air sacs, you know, they're kind of like pulling the base apart piece by piece. Or like with skimmers, you know, they, uh, they're they disabling stuff and the actual creep comes in and that like always looks cool. The blobs just, just, kind, of, just kind of win it for you uh, if there's too many. Oh, everyone's in the middle. We can actually just snipe across. Let's do that. I kind of just want to barrel straight into that. But, while we're here, right, this might trigger some uh, sprayers, but I'm just give them a whole load of eggs to worry about. Yeah, pop all eggs. Just get that nice and ready. Let us settle a fraction. Drive the mesh through. Because we're just going to try and make it into that. It's nice that that got briefly cut off, but I don't think it's going to last forever. Did we properly connect? Oh, it's not actually connected to the island. Okay, there we go. Right, maybe that all works now. Where can you mesh? Make it so... Right, they're all cut off. They're not going to rebuild. With a little bit of work, we can actually move up here. We do have a super gun, which I kind of hate that. Bonk. Oh, they do have a shield on platform. Man, I just do not see that. Okay, the main assault kind of stagnant. Oh, up here, not going terribly. Grand scheme of things, actually, kind of pushing in pretty nicely even though they've got airships to worry about. Uh, where is all their lift deck coming from? Do they just have a tank of it? What's their factory looking like? They definitely have lift deck coming in. They still have... blue-white. Oh, which is over here. Okay, we will, we will have the blue-white soon. I need to kill that super gun. There we go. That's going to help a lot. Look, I've been kind of neglecting the central push for a long time. Oh, we have to go around. Okay. I'm not allowed just to go over the top. 
Can we sneak past there? The answer is yes, but weirdly. There we go. <laughs> just make our own road. Very good. Okay. It's going to be just bombarded by this island, but just have to deal with that. Okay, they still are... Going blue white. Oh, they still actually just take it from there with this sneaky boy. Okay. We can get them. Oh, the blobs got them. Great. Okay. Good job, blobs. Well done. Where is green art? Is it literally just in that tank? Are they, are they cheating with their green R? Oh, no. Oh, there's by here. Okay. There. That's where they're getting the left tech from. Okay. Just not looking with my eyes. The airship is just working absolute overtime to <laughs> try and keep on top of these air sacs. Oh, nuts. Look how much AC all of this junk is making now. Hate that. Oh, that could have been ours. But we'll never be able to hold it with all these weapons around. Uh, we almost have that emitter. We've got a lot of boosts that I've just been saving up. Okay, we're going to build another, <laughs> another side passage. See if we can take out this island. And maybe we'll do some dark towering. Uh, they're actually getting a little bit tight on cash. It's getting closer. Wow, that like really combined assault by the air sacs there. Very good. Oh, nice. We actually have a new emitter to be pooping out. Pooping out stuff. Uh... Right. It's probably not actually doing anything, but if we can kill an Emrift, I'll do it. Just watch me. Okay, we're just kind of creating some new bridges. Try and attack the green R fields from the south as well. Oh, we're only attacking from south. This is south. I've decided that way is north. So the statement's correct. Okay, seeing as the entire map is now just covered in anti creep. Uh, maybe we should buff the spore launcher a little bit. Uh, just because it might help kind of snipe some shields. Maybe. It doesn't happen all that often, but sometimes. So in the notes, it does say, any feedback is welcome. Uh, so, uh, just as I just wait for things to kind of grind out. Like, I'm not a big fan of just like a lot of little patches of the the yellow stuff. Um, especially when they're surrounded by so many sprayers. For two, twofold. One, if they do kind of get triggered as anti creep, it doesn't necessarily make the map harder. It just means it takes more time. Which, like, I don't think is mm, adds more fun. Um, I think it just kind of just slows everything down a lot. Because, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with the light player's creep, like, you will always win a map. Uh, so the other thing is, you, because you want to do the map quickly, um, you know, if you want to get a good time, or uh, have you, however you play this, I don't tend to worry about my, my time too much. I kind of, I'm thinking more like what's fun. But you don't want to use air sex, uh, because, God, they will always accidentally trigger these guys. Uh, you don't want to use um, spores, because they will just kind of set off uh, just... You know, a little bit of anti-creep hits these things, and then suddenly, like, oh god, this entire island is now a, just a pain in the butt to attack. And so, yeah, like, really, like, limiting your options that you should just, you know, use emitters, carefully, tactically use eggs and rocks, um, and suddenly, like, not use, like, a bunch of the other tools. Blobs, generally fine. Um, don't tend to be uh, activating uh, these guys. Be even skimmers can. But they don't tend to. They don't tend to have like too bad a track record with like skimmers kind of kicking off. And so yeah, like not my favorite kind of mechanic. Like I don't mind having areas where like, you know, you get the box with like the mega column of anti-creep as like a defensive feature. Uh, but when it just like, it's built in a way that just the whole map gets covered in it. Not my favorite. Bits where it's like, oh, how do we like cut off an island? How do we snip and kind of like dissect the enemy? That stuff, all great, tons of fun. Like, collecting like little bits so you can uh, send those out, pretty good. But I think that's more like personal taste rather than, uh, you know, actual map advice. These maps, very nice. Yeah, I'm very thankful to the community for making them, uh, as they provide me with a lot of content. Um, and hopefully uh, anyone who's still watching this, many hours of entertainment. 
God, I just really enjoy Creep World. There's just something very just satisfying about playing it. Right, how's the push going? Because we're kind of just waiting for things just to sort of all move up uh, before we kind of go into the, the back of the base. Like, I would like to try and attack this, but there's so many weapons on this side that I don't think we can really make it in. And yeah, with all the AC in here, I, like we could have maybe done like a, a big egg play, but I don't think that's the case anymore. And yeah, MRFs and shields. Too tough. Too tough for just eggs. Okay, we're moving up. Oh god. Shields inside the blue boys. We're gonna have to go around. I think we're gonna have to do the sort of like cliff assault again. Because if I just kind of run along the edge, I might be able to stay out of range of some of the guns. Okay, the options basically are... We've got a lot of boosts. Either... We just put them all into this emitter. And flood up there. Uh, we put them all into blobs. We put them all into... Spore launchers. I was hoping that we could come up and get the, uh, the Dark Tower. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, okay. What would you like to see? Type it in... Type it in the comments. Okay, right. Emitter. Interesting choice. 1,200 every now and again. Let's go. I just need the eggs to stop them repairing the walls. I just need one entrance. Okay, right. We definitely can't mess through it. Right, we're probably going to actually have to come around. Which is fine. We make our own roads. Oh, wait. We can't go through the wall. Great. Well, we've got a side path as well. Wow, it just doesn't even care about shields. Just go straight through it. That's a lot of... That's a lot of creep. They have... Big money problems at the moment. Right, let's keep... Keep buffing it. The air sack's kind of just chilling now. Just taunting that... Taunting that airship. See, no, it's not going to attack back. This is... You know... You earned him. He's been killing you guys and shooting down your beads for a long time. Okay, at this stage, we're, we're barely kind of really doing anything. We're just letting the creep roll in to victory. It's moving faster than I can even just get mesh going. Just draping them. That is perfect, because the moment those shields go down, they're going to have a real, real sad day. Okay, the... Uh the wall of creep. Oh my god, look at that island back there. Yeah, just that much creep just ignores shields, so... Yeah, wow, just, just put it all into the emitter. Like, I drew some mesh. It, honestly, I don't think it did anything. I don't think we had to do anything whatsoever at that point. Well, ammo. Okay. Alright, that took about nine minutes. Okay, right. Turns out everyone voted for spores. It's your turn now. 140 spores. Can 140 spores even win this? Probably. They're running out of arg pretty quickly. Okay, they refill. Two layers. Three layers. And then the next wave is coming in. Oh no, they've got like four. Is that five? Maybe six. It's maybe like a third full. But then another wave comes in. And they are having to reload a lot of missile launchers. They are running out. Okay. Is it actually blowing stuff up? Like some stuff is dying, but I think that's maybe just still on the front lines. How's AC looking? Still very deep. Okay, is there a world where we actually cut all of this off? Yes. We kill the Emrift. We take out the Connectos. Then they don't get any ammo. Does this work? Pop all eggs. Oh, we got it just before the shield, I think? Okay. The island's down. Right. I think we're allowed to help with just their eggs. You know, we're not using the other... Not buffing any other things. And it's still kind of the spores doing it, but now they just don't have ammo. Okay, 
how they're looking on AC. Kind of dropping. Wow. Okay, that was maybe the air sacs that went for that kill. Right, the air sacs and spore combo is working pretty well. Everyone has got ammo problems. God, it's just the spore. Uh, air sacs kind of doing this now. No, the spores did actually really turn the tide of battle here. Very, oh my god, like, look how quickly it just fills up the entire map. It goes from just not being covered with, like, a lot of AC. That was a little bit faster. Spores. Excellent choice. Uh, okay, so it turns out you decided that you wanted blobs. Blobs. 143 blobs. That's a lot of blobs. Okay, it's gonna take a couple of volleys of blobs. But... It is a lot of blobs. I mean, it's super need to worry about anti creep Because just blobs are going in, and... It's a great start. Just... First wave down, they're running at a big deficit. Ooh, blobs took out the factory. Man, they are really just diving deep into the base here. Okay, air sacs. Oh my god, the air sacs are once again doing great work. Blobs are just destroying. God, just huge swathes of their base every assault. Wow, if enough blobs hit the base. Oh my god, that looks like a lot. Blammo! Wow, they did it in like even less. Blobs. Blobs won. Very fast. But yeah, like. First wave of blobs goes in, and you're like, oh, okay, they're doing it. But they killed a few things. And then the next wave goes in, and a few more things die. And just every wave, they just kill even more because there's less defense. Okay, right. It's taken me... God. I think when we were starting, it was about, like, two minutes. It's taken me five minutes to make it to the Dark Tower. Uh, but we're going to just see if they can win. Uh, but it is... Uh, a little, a little laggy when you get bigger. Oh no. Oh god, we buffed it. But they just managed to get the nullifier back online. Okay, that's delaying us. I'm kind of counting its time from about the, you know, the, the six and a half minute, seven minute mark. Okay, it's coming back. How much of the map is it covering? We've got it up to pretty big. Actually, buffing it when it's offline, actually amazing. Dark Tower. There we go. Okay, it's covering basically the whole map. Okay, from the seven minute mark, you know, to kind of be a bit fairer, it, this is like a bonus round. A lot of their base doesn't work anymore. They do have some little pockets, uh, which is kind of fun. Like, man, just like a little area with an M-Rift. Very nice. But... Their economy is just collapsed. And as the Ricans uh, fall apart, they're not having a good day. They just don't have don't have the weapons or support structure to be able to win this. Uh yeah, man, they fall a quick fall apart so quickly when the Dark Tower's involved. Okay, right, realistically, we should say they took about three minutes, but three minutes with an asterisk. That's how long it's going to take. Okay, and last of all, just because some people will be mad, my sweet boys. I have been chosen. Farewell, my friends. I don't know what will happen with these air sacs. I don't know if, if they'll ever get big enough. So if they can hold, what, 400 creep each? Which is a lot, but when they're big tails get too long, they just drag along the ground and they tend not to actually drop it properly. So they might, they might never win. Wait, have they been reworked? Are they not growing longer? Is it that their deposits are now larger? That would make more sense. God, that'd make them so much better. If that is how it works. Or it would make them so much more usable. That if every time you buff them, if normally like a ball contains 10 creep, but now if each ball contained 400, God, I don't know how you'd balance it, but it'd be pretty, pretty good. Because they don't stop you getting into that position where they get just stuck on stuff. But yeah, I 
feel like maybe that is how it works. Like, look how much creep just came out of there. God, maybe these guys aren't as bad as I was expecting. Did it always work like that? God. See, that's the beauty of Creeper World. It's a game that just keeps on giving. Yeah. Take out the factory. Uh, I just want to take out the factory just so it kind of slows down their air defense. Not that that many of them are really being shot down. Oh my god, like, look at these walls of creep they're making. Heck, just have a load of eggs. Uh, everyone else got eggs, so I feel like they should as well. Also, everyone else got rocks. You know what? The air sex actually did a lot better. I, th I was just going to put this on at the end, because I was like, there's no way the air sex can win. I'll just have some nice footage of air sex flying around, um, and we'll just leave it at that. But they were actually a strong contestant. Oh my god, never doubt the air sex. So good. Okay, actually <laughs> busting in that last, last bit. It's going to take them a little longer, but they got it. Wow, eight, eight minutes. Okay. But it's not like, like, you know, two minutes in. Good job. Wow, everyone. Everyone got to play. Well done. Uh, Pow, well, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Enjoyed Creeper World. Um, God, I do love it. And thank you. Thank you uh, for making the map. Very much enjoyed. Until next time, everybody. See ya!